What is going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here and today we're out on Deerfield Pier. I'm with my buddy Jacob. He's gonna help me catch some snook today. We are here to do a catch and cook snook edition. Now I've actually never tried snook before so this is gonna be a very very fun day. Hopefully we get a slot today. No over slots or under so let's do this here. Oh my god, he's right in front of his face. Oh, you, you took. Oh, oh, oh. Tony! Tony Net! Tony Net! Oh. Tony Net! Tony! Yo, grab my net. I'm about to get free. You don't need to pull the fish? I got it, I got it. It's right next to you. Just drop down, I'm pulling it. Tell you when to pull up. Oh, oh no no no. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. oh my god. That's a giant. Dude, I watched him slurp that thing. It was so crazy. Oh, caught him on. Good job, dude. Come on. Jeez. Tail. Like 37. Oh. 37? <laughs> Yeah. Dang. Uh, you want to get a pick? He has another hook in his mouth. There goes. 37, not a slot, but we're getting him. All right. This guy's going back. Over slot. Not what we want, but definitely a blast to catch. There he goes. <sighs> Hell yeah. <laughs> How long is the battery left? Pretty long. On. Get him. That's dead? No. Alright, uh, let me get a net. Yeah. Can you keep filming? Is it on? Yeah, it's, it should be on. Can you come down and film the fish? Just point it over. It won't fall, I promise. Yo, net it. I don't want to lose it. He's good. The fish is dead. That's a dead snake. I fall every single day of the week. Woo! Are you kidding me? I was just standing. <laughs> this is a huge one. Oh. Woo! That's catching cook. Yes, baby! <laughs> Oh my god. That's dead. That's a dead snook. That's like, that's like 30 inches. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yes. Yes, here we go. That's the fish I just caught. I'm behind the camera. Jake is about to measure it. Is it a slot? 30 inches. 30 inches, boy. That's dead. That's a dead snook. Alright guys, we are back from the pier now. We are going to skin this guy, fillet him up, get him ready to prepare in the kitchen. Now after we caught this fish, we did stay and uh, got into a lot of stuff, uh, caught a few more snooks. So we had a good time on the pier, but it is dark out now, and we are going to prepare this snook, and I am ready to try this for the first time. I am very excited, so let's get started. We stumbled upon his stomach and it looks pretty full. So let's see what's inside of it. We're gonna cut it open just for uh, out of curiosity, see what they're eating. Probably my uh, dwarf jack, but you never know what else is in there. Oh! Ooh. Mm. <laughs> he has a fish, he has a fish, he has a fish. 
Oh, uh, filtered. He has a. Uh, he has a half digest. <coughs> a, uh, a half digested pilchard there. So if you're snook fishing, throw some pilchards. All right, we're done. Here we are back at the house in the kitchen with these snook fingers. Now they look so freaking good. They're perfect. They're white. I am really, really excited. We cut them into these finger sizes here just to get a nice little snook tender. But we're going to go ahead and put these in some milk for about 10 15 minutes. Then we're going to go and bread them, pan fry them, and try them for the first time. As always, most of these catch and cooks are from fish that I have never tried before. Snook is definitely one of them. Uh, and I am really, really excited. I've been waiting all season for this. So let's go ahead and get started. That should be good. We got a lot of pieces here, you guys. So I had to bring out a little bit of bigger pot usual than the bowl that I use. So in goes all the fish. And last one. And these are gonna sit in there for about, I'd give it 10 to 20 minutes and I'll be right back and we're gonna continue the process. Okay, so the snook has been sitting in its milk bath for long enough. It's been about 20 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take it out of the milk, put it into the egg, and then put it from the egg into our breadcrumbs and onto the pan it is. Check it out, here are the finished breaded snook fingers. They look absolutely phenomenal. I cannot wait to get these on the pan and fry them up. They look so freaking good and I am starving. So here they are, they are finished. We're gonna go ahead, get our hot ass pan with our hot ass oil and finally get to cooking these. Our oil is blazing hot. These are ready to go in now. We have a lot of pieces over here. We're not gonna cook all of them. Uh, right now we're gonna cook maybe two or three because there is a lot and there's not enough room on the pan But we're gonna cook uh, about two maybe three or four of them and then I'll cook the rest later But I want to get to trying these as soon as possible. So let's go ahead throw these on the pan now and not waste another second All right, so these are the four that we're gonna have for now. I'm gonna let them cook for about three and a half, four minutes on each side because they are really thick pieces. They're actually thicker than usual that I'm used to. So we're gonna give them about three minutes, medium heat on each side, flip them, and then they are ready to go into a plate. So here is the finished product of a few of our snook fingers. They look delicious. They are fried, ready to go. I'm just gonna add a little bit of lime juice to, for flavor. Oh my God, that looks so good. So they are ready to try. Let's go ahead, go sit down at the table and I will give you my honest opinion on how these taste. Okay guys, so we are back at the table. Here is the snook. It, it smells great. Now, this is something that I forgot to tell you when it was cooking. While it was frying, it smelled fantastic. Didn't have a crazy fishy smell to it, so it cooked really, really well. Uh, very happy with that. Visually looks great, and I put a little bit of lime 
on there for just a hint of flavor. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it in front of the camera as I usually do, just to show you the texture of it, inside, outside, stuff like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try it for the first time and let you guys know what I think. Now I'm expecting very good things. I've heard that Snook is very, very good. Most of the peer guys cannot wait for Snook season so they can get their slot Snook and so they can start eating these. So they are really, really good. That's what I hear. I'm pretty excited. I think I know what's to come, but you never know. I, you just never know. But here we go. Here's the inside of the Snook. Ooh, that's good stuff. It is really, really white, really tender. Oh my God, it smells so good. Flaky inside, so I'm really excited. I'm going to eat the piece that I just broke off. So this is pretty much it. Snook, catch and cook in three, two, one. Mmm. What a distinctive taste. It tastes so good. Everything that those peer guys were telling me about Snook is true. It's so true. Look at that. Look at this, you guys. Look at that fat, come on, focus. Look at that fat, white, meaty piece. It just looks like a giant piece of chicken, but that is Snook. And that is just pure, white, tender, snook meat you guys i mean it just does not get any better than that it tastes amazing it has it just has a rich oceany flavorful flaky taste to it it's really hard to explain without you here trying this but it just tastes incredible something is going to happen today on my channel that's probably never happened before i'm giving this fish a 10 out of 10. Now, I know I say this in all my catching cooks, but if you guys have a chance, definitely try Snook. If you have Snook in your area, or if you have a chance to go somewhere where there is Snook, definitely try it. It is delicious. I highly, 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 10 out of 10 recommend you try Snook. It's incredible, it's so good. So that is going to wrap up this episode of Catch and Cook. Um, if you guys aren't aware, I have a major hurricane uh probably as you're watching this it is probably going to be hitting me but uh, it's on its way so the videos might be a couple days delayed due to the storm no power stuff like that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember if you guys want to see more catching cooks which i know you guys love them make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me what species of fish you want to see me eat next freshwater saltwater whatever it is Make sure it's a fish uh, species that I have not tried yet, and I will possibly pick your comment and do that fish. So leave your comment below, let me know. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you later.